Center is a building that's located in East L.A. Exclusively, and we'll have a little bit more of his interview in just a moment. But for right now, the county CEO will be overseeing the Emergency Ops Center. Now, to give you a little background, the Emergency Ops Center is a building that's located in East L.A. And you never really think about it, you never really need it until you do. And this is certainly one of those times that we do need it. Think of it as an HQ for emergency responses. Basically, you have all of the best and the brightest there determining where and uh, where operations or where resources need to go and then allocating them to those places. The county, back late last year, had decided that they didn't think that the op center was working as well as it could. They received an audit after the Woolsey fire and they determined that things could be done better. Now, keep in mind, during the Woolsey fire, Sheriff Villanueva was not in charge of the op center and the op center ever since it's really been put into place has always been overseen by the sheriff in command well that all changes effective today as county supervisors had a unanimous vote to remove the sheriff and replace him with the county ceo here's more from supervisor Catherine barger when she was asked specifically about the move today at today's county health briefing There's no question from an optic standpoint, the timing is, is not the best, but from the standpoint of uh, public safety and the impact it's going to have as it relates to how we are responding to this, I'm confident that um, there will be no change in how we are working together to address that. We have the nation's largest jail system. Nueva was also in attendance at that conference, standing side by side by County Supervisor Barger. We were here at the Hall of Justice and we were able to speak to the sheriff as he returned from that meeting at a safe social, social distance. Rather, we asked him specifically what he felt about today's decision and his reaction moving forward. We're all about public safety. We're going to keep the ball rolling and we're going to keep doing what we're supposed to be doing. And when they figure it out, if they had come up with a transition plan one day, fine. But in the meantime, we're not going to stop what we're doing. And just to reiterate, you believe this is a decision that could have been put off for a later date? Oh, by all means, yes. This is the most inappropriate time to start changing the game. Again, the sheriff has been openly critical, calling this move nothing more than petty politics and says that supervisors should put all of this aside in favor of doing what's best for public health. That's the very latest from the Hall of Justice at this hour. I'm Wendy Birch, and I'll send it back to you. All right, Wendy, thank you for that update.